Hey guys, it's your girl Julia Steele coming at you from my bedroom. Hey! So I thought I'd do a little knife review. I feel like such a dork. Um, I won this contest from Cutlery Lover months ago. Um, and included in the prize pack was this Schrade knife that I'm going to be talking about today. Um, and I don't know why it's taking me so long to like get around to showing it off, but I don't know. But anyway, better late than never, I guess. So Cutlery Lover, if you don't know who he is, he's this awesome YouTuber. Um, he obviously is into knives and a bunch of other cool stuff. Hot sauce for one. <laughs> um, but I just love his channel and I gotta give him credit for kind of getting me into the knife culture a bit. Um, I mean, I never was really super into it until lately. And I've just been trying to learn everything I can about it. I just love them. Um, such a knife girl right now. So thank you, Cutlery Lover, for opening my eyes to this new passion that I have. Thank you. <laughs> uh, my outfit today is from Ed Casino. Thank you, Ed. You're awesome. I just felt like dressing up today. You ever feel like that? It's like, I'm going to work today. I just feel like dressing up. So anyway... This is the Schrade F34, um, what I, oh my gosh, I just had a total brain fart. Anyway, what I won from Cutlery Lover, Lover, Cutlery Lover, I can't talk, I think I'm having a stroke, anyway. But yeah, so it comes in this nice black Kydex sheath, um, it's very stylish, very hard, very durable, very snug, not going to come out some grommet holes right there so you can personalize that with beads or lanyard or whatever. It does have a belt clip on the back. <coughs> That's pretty nice. So I just love this blade and I don't have a lot of like Tanto-esque blades just because I don't really have a lot of need for them. I'm more of a folding knife girl. But I really like having this handy just in case I would possibly need something like this. Um, it seems very well... <coughs> I got a frog in my throat. Seems very well put together. Um, there's no messed up edges or anything on there that's not supposed to be there. This really nice um, stone wash finish, which I've been loving stone wash lately. Um, it's actually a big reason why... I got this knife from Color Co, which is the M Tech USMC knife that I got, which has that really nice stone wash finish. I just think it's a really very stylish finish for a knife, just very cool. So um, it has that nice recurve going into that Tanto blade, um, has a full tang, and you can see that going down the length of the handle which I actually really like the nice G10 black handle. Very hard, durable, not going to crack, no scratches. It's pretty nice. I need some water. Oh my gosh, my room is so dry. But anyway, yep, so it has that nice jimping on the spine and a finger guard as some of us know, well, I guess, <laughs> if you don't know, um, the Tanto blades are meant for piercing or stabbing into materials, so, which is why it comes with these features, so that you're not slipping, your fingers aren't slipping, you don't want that, but you also got to be careful, especially with the jimping, you don't want to pierce it super hard and then mess up your thumb, as you can see, I have, like, some imprints on my thumb from that. So just be, just be careful, obviously with all knives, be careful. Um, so I really just, I love how unique looking this is. Um, I like how lightweight it is. It feels very durable for being so lightweight. Has a lanyard hole, put a lanyard on there, pretty nice. Um, so yeah, it's just a really neat, little knife and blade is about three and a quarter inches not super big or anything um just really nice to have with you um i've seen this retail online between 30 and 40 dollars ish depending on where you go 30 to 40 and up 
So just kind of check them out. I mean, I don't have any other charade knives, but after seeing this, I, I definitely want to check them out a little bit more and, you know, get a feel for them because I, I do like how this one's made a lot. So yeah, so that's my little review or first look at, well, second or third or fourth or fifth look <laughs> at this charade F34. So pretty nice. I got a hand it to Cutlery Lover, Lover. He made a really awesome giveaway. So very honored to have won that. So thank you for that. And yeah, so any questions, comments, complaints, suggestions, um, go ahead and leave me a comment at the bottom. Um, sorry, I feel so rushed today. I got off work and I'm just feeling kind of like Ugh, ready for bed. It's kind of late. So thank you guys for watching. I love you so much. Peace. <laughs> this really nice um, stone wash finish which I've been loving stone wash lately um, it's actually a big reason why I got this knife from Color Co which is the Mtech USMC knife that I got which has that really nice stone wash finish I just think it's a really very stylish finish for a knife just very cool so um, it has that nice recurve going into that Tanto blade. Um, has a full tang, and you can see that going down the length of the handle, which I actually really like the nice G10 black handle. Very hard, durable, not gonna crack, no scratches. It's pretty nice. I need some water. Oh my gosh. My room is so dry. But anyway, yep, so it has that nice jimping on the spine and a finger guard. As some of us know, well, I guess, <laughs> if you don't know, um, the Tanto blades are meant for piercing or stabbing into materials, so, which is why it comes with these features, so that you're not slipping your fingers aren't slipping, you don't want that. But you also gotta be careful, especially with the jimping. You don't wanna pierce it super hard and then mess up your thumb. As you can see, I have like some imprints on my thumb from that. So I was really super into it until lately. And I've just been trying to learn everything I can about it. I just love them. Um, such a knife girl right now, so. Thank you, Cutlery Lover, for opening my eyes to this new passion that I have. Thank you. <laughs> uh, my outfit today is from Ed Casino. Thank you, Ed. You're awesome. I just felt like dressing up today. You ever feel like that? It's like, I'm going to work today. I just feel like dressing up. So anyway, this is the Shrade F34. Um, what I... Oh my gosh. I just had a total brain fart. Anyway, what I won from Cutlery Lover, Lover, Cutlery Lover, I can't talk. I think I'm having a stroke anyway. But yeah, so it comes in this nice black Kydex sheath. Um, it's very stylish, very hard, very durable, very snug, not gonna come out. Some grommet holes right there, so you can personalize that with beads or lanyard or whatever. It does have a belt clip on the back. <coughs> That's pretty nice. So I just love this blade and I don't have a lot of like Tanto-esque blades just because I don't really have a lot of need for them. I'm more of a folding knife girl, but I really like having this handy just in case I would possibly need something like this. Um, it seems very well, <coughs> I got a frog in my throat, it seems very well put together and um, there's no messed up edges or anything on there that's not supposed to be there. Hey guys, it's your girl Julia Steele coming at you from my bedroom. Hey! So I thought I'd do a little knife review. I feel like such a dork. Um, I won this contest from Cutlery Lover months ago um, and included in the prize pack was this Schrade knife that I'm going to be talking about today. Um, and I don't know why it's taking me so long to like get around to showing it off, but I don't know. But anyway, better late than never, I guess. So 
Cutlery Lover, if you don't know who he is, he's this awesome YouTuber. Um, he obviously is into knives and a bunch of other cool stuff. Hot sauce for one. <laughs> um, but I just love his channel and I gotta give him credit for kind of getting me into the knife culture a bit. Um, I mean, I never really...